What's up, athletes? Welcome to today's workout. Today we have a nine minute core blast workout. Now, all you need for today is one dumbbell or a weight that you have inside your pantry. If you don't have any weights to work with, I recommend getting maybe a backpack, an old bag, and putting in some weighted objects like books or anything else that you have at home and make yourself a small weight that you can use and follow along with. So today we have three exercises to do. We're gonna be working for 45 seconds and resting for 15 seconds or just enough time to get us to the next exercise. We have a partial floor wiper on the right side, a partial floor wiper on the left side, and then a dolphin plank. One of my favorites targets the core and the shoulders. I know I say blasted core is the focus for today, but remember that we are always working full body. It's a functional movement that we're always going for. And so therefore you're gonna feel your shoulders working. You could also feel your legs working at times. All right, let's go through the movements. Your first exercise is a partial floor wiper. So you're gonna grab your weight over here and we're gonna lie down on the floor, bring that weight up towards the ceiling, legs come up and then you bring your legs to the opposite side that you are holding your weight on. Okay, let me show you what it looks like on the other side. I've got my arm here outside for support and I'm bringing my legs to the side and then back. Not a lot of reps that you're going to be doing during that 45 seconds because this is gonna be a slow and controlled movement. So we're gonna do 45 seconds of that on each side and then hit a dolphin plank. Dolphin plank, get a nice plank position onto your forearm, squeeze your bum. We're gonna start with our chin at our thumb and then pivot with the feet, passing the hands. So again, for 45 seconds. A modification for you could be to do the exact same thing up here. So find an elevated surface and join me in the dolphin plank there. All right, athletes, let's get this workout going. Remember, we're starting with our floor wipers. So let's get ready over here, get comfortable. And then in three, two, one, and let's go. So remember again, this is gonna be about control your legs do not need to touch the floor. So you wanna just bring your legs to this side. As soon as you feel that pull, bring them right back. Now, you also wanna keep that shoulder blade on the floor. So make sure that your shoulders are on the floor and you're really engaging your oblique. So you should start to feel the sides of your abs really bringing in those legs. Again, nice and slow. Keep that elbow straight. Drive it up towards the ceiling. Good job. We're almost done here. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, now break. All right, good. Switch sides. Get ready. Take a couple breaths here. And up in the air. Arms out to the side. And then three, two, one, and go. You're going faster than me, I want you to slow down. See how slow and control I bring my legs and then I really quickly and explosively try to bring my legs back up, but all of the movement is happening right here. Inhale as your legs come down and exhale as you bring your legs back up. Keep breathing, good work, 20 seconds. A few more reps over here. Again, keeping complete control the whole way through got it. Good work athletes. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and break. Awesome. I always try to finish up that last rep, even if I go a little bit over. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, and up. job. You got this. That's it. Focus on your breath. Remember, you have the option to come up onto an elevated surface. If you feel like that's right for you today, keep breathing. Nice 
nicely done. Almost through. Really keep that core engaged in three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Round one complete. Let's go get ready right into round two. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and up. That's it. Nice and slow to descend. Get that core to do the work. Keep breathing, stay strong. more seconds or 25 more seconds sorry every second counts we know that elbows are straight that's it keep breathing all the way through don't hold your breath and just make it more challenging because we have to oxygenate that muscle get it ready for the next contraction three more seconds three two one and rest nice all right, I'm feeling my obliques. How you doing over there? All right, five seconds up. Lock out the arm in three, two, one, and go. You got it. That's it. Drive that weight up. Good job. Good work, athlete. Twenty more seconds. Keep breathing, you got this. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Let's go flip her over onto our forearms. Round two of dolphin plank. Stay with me. Three, two, one, and up. Why is it important to strengthen the core? Why do we not just say, work on our abs? Core, just like when you think about an apple core, it's really the depths and the inside of the apple. So our core muscles are also in the depths and inside of us, and they provide stability, they provide all these muscles structure, and help us to create that abdominal pressure, to create a pressure gradient within our body, so when we breathe or whenever we want to force a breath, we have that capability. Three, two, one, and break. All right, flip her over last round and I'll keep telling you about the core. So the core also helps us with liquid gradients in our body. Three, two, one, and up. And in fact, many of us think that the core is the low back muscles and our ab muscles are those muscles that appear as a six pack, the rectus abdominis muscles. But truly, the core also includes your pelvic floor and it includes your multifidus muscle, which is a very, very deep muscle inside the spine, and your obliques or transverse abdominis. So truly, all this to say is that when we have a nice, strong core, it translates into strength and power in our other movements. All of our jumping movements, all of our burpees, all of our box jumps, and even just squats, because the glutes are also part of the core muscles. Three, two, one and break. So I hope that little insight has provided some value. And even though sometimes we don't feel that burn, as we're doing these exercises, three, two, one, and up. Just know that we're working our overall stability, our base, and our structural assemblance, which everything else relies on. And it doesn't always have to feel like a burn. Although I am 100% feeling a burn right now in my obliques. <sighs> All right, athletes, we got this. 20 more seconds. Good job. Doing great today. 
How are you feeling with this weight? Take note of this weight. Today I'm using 20 pounds. If you're using a lighter weight, like five pounds or 10 pounds, and you feel like you could go up a little bit in weight, then it's something to take note of. And break. If your weight is too heavy and you're having a hard time keeping that elbow locked out, then take note of that so that we can adjust for the next time we work on this exercise. Three, two, one, and up. Let's go, final minute here of dolphin plank. You got this, keep going. Let's go, use those arms. Make sure your chin is passing over your thumbs. Keep breathing. 20 more seconds. Good job, athlete. That's it, I know. Don't break though. You got this, come on, we're almost done. A few more seconds, a few more breaths. Three, two, one, now break. All right, good job athletes, you made it. Well done today for showing up for you and for always engaging at your best capacity. And remember, that's, that's what it's about. Results will come when you are consistent and you just keep showing up. Remember, if you have it in you, keep going. Add a couple more rounds today or check out those links that I have for you to make a more complete workout and work on some other stuff as well. Now remember, please, I love the comments, so please write a comment. Let me know how this goes for you. Remember to like and hit that subscribe button so we can catch each other in the next workout. You got this, athlete.